the Brewmasters Dinner Series with Muskoka Brewery is coming Tuesday, February 6th at the Craft Beer Market in Ottawa Lansdowne Park. Uh, joining us right now, Don Faithful uh, is back on the show, events and marketing manager, Craft Beer Market. Hello, Don. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm, good to, I'm glad to see you here. And Cass David is here as well. You're the Hello. executive chef. Yep. Well, that's a big title. <laughs> I like that executive chef at Thanks. the uh, Craft Beer Market. All right, so Don, first of all, tell us uh, how many years has this this uh, dinner been going on? Is this the first um, year for this? So we've been doing them since we opened, and we only opened a little less than two years ago. Yeah. Um, they're monthly dinners, so we try and run them uh, with different breweries every month just to kind of get new flavor profiles, new uh, introductions to the people of Ottawa and the breweries of our local partners. So okay. we are running with Muskoka right now. They're out of Bracebridge. Mm -hmm. um, so not too far away and a lot of people are familiar with the area. A lot of people go up there um, to chill and lounge and that's very much what their uh, craft brew series is about. Okay, so, so it's a monthly series then yes. that takes place. Okay, yes. so and, and it's happening at the craft beer market for this one on Tuesday, February 6th. Exactly. They're and always at craft and we um, we have about 75 people per dinner, mm -hmm. um, so tickets sell out pretty quickly usually. I can imagine. Yeah, it's a really, really good um, program. We mm -hmm. do five beers and four courses for 60 bucks, tax and gratuity included. Uh, pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been the executive chef here, Cass? Only since September, yeah. but I've been with the company for about two years now. Okay, all right, and uh, I know that you're going to be cooking up some stuff here. I can tell because there's like a burning smell right now. <laughs> I just Coming turned the pan the, off, I got the a little equipment too that you brought here. <laughs> uh, so real quick, today we're going to be making some Japanese gyoza, so yeah. pot stuff, dumplings, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Uh, this is basically what the finished dish looks like, and it's surprisingly easy. People get a little bit intimidated by it, but we're going to have some fun making it today. Okay. So we've got our filling that I've already made up, so it's completely vegetarian, it's actually a completely vegan dish. Oh, completely. Uh, so we've got some mushrooms, some red quinoa, cabbage, a little ginger, garlic, some sambal olek, which is a chili paste. Um, and you can actually buy these little dumpling rounds ready to made at any, any kind of uh, Asian store. Mm -hmm. So I've got some made up already, say. So this is what they look like once they've been steamed. Okay. And then we've got our nice pan. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to get them searing up right away. So is this a dish that you put together yourself? That yeah, you so basically when we write the brewmaster's menus, uh, I receive the beers and then I get to try them and kind of come up with what do I like, what would I think would pair really nice with it. So with di this dish, we're actually doing the Muskoka cream ale. We'll get you to just hold that mic for a second. Thank you. Yep. Can you hear me better now? <laughs> Hopefully. So with the Muskoka cream ale, um, you know, doing beer pairing can be very different for everyone, what you like, what you dislike. Uh, for me, I find that um, a cream beer is quite quite flat, so you want to bring a little bit of flavor to it. So okay. for me, bringing this Asian dish really kind of did that. Okay. So, um, so is any of this dish made with uh, beer at all? Uh, do, you, nope. do you add in Sometimes beer? I do add beer. Uh, for in this case, it's literally just a pairing. So okay. what I so think it's more would go about well together. what's being paired. Yeah. Okay. So, so Dawn, how do we figure out what should be paired with this certain dishes? Is, is that easy to figure out? So it's easy and it's tough. And like Cass said, it's a little bit based on your own personal preference. So some people like to um, have things that are a little bit contrasting. So if you have something that's really fatty, you want something that's going to bite through that. If you want, if you have something that's a little spicy, sometimes you want to turn up the flavor. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to turn it down. Yeah. So that kind of depends too. So if you have um, a really bitter IPA and you're not crazy on spice, maybe I wouldn't pair those two things together. Okay. Um, but if you are a big hop drinker in your beer and you do love the spice, then I would definitely do it because it's going to amp up both of those flavors. Okay. So, so Cass, what, is this a spicy dish? No, not really. It's quite mild. I wouldn't want to go too spicy. Um, you would probably lose most of the flavor from the cream ale beer mm -hmm. if you went too extreme. Okay, but I guess yeah. you could you could obviously do any way you want. If you want to make it spicy, not spicy. Well, that's the nice thing about beer pairing. It's different for everyone. You know, there is no right or wrong way to pair a beer. Mm -hmm. uh, just like with wine, really. You know, people can get a little bit. Oh, it has to be this way or that way. But whatever you know. Whatever floats your boat, whatever okay. makes you happy. Whatever floats your boat, I like yeah. that. Okay, so Dawn, you have actually brought some uh, different Muskoka beers? We have, exactly. So um, these ones are all being featured in our dinner. Um, the Craft Lager is just a nice introductory, easy beer. It's um, crisp, refreshing, something that is just going to wet your palate a little bit before the dinner actually gets started. Yeah. 
Um, the Muskoka Mad Tom here is something that I was talking about before, that IPA. It's got a hop, it's dry hopped, but it's got a little bit of a citrus flavor to it, so it's really nice and refreshing as well. Okay. Um, it's not crazy bitter when it comes to your traditional IPAs, but it is definitely um, something that an IPA drinker would Okay. gravitate towards. And then the cream ale, that's the one we've paired with the gyoza dumplings. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the one that, like Cass was saying, um, she didn't want to go too spicy with the cream ale because it just wouldn't have okay. quite fit. W where is the Muskoka Brewery? Um, out in Bracebridge. Bracebridge, okay. Yes, yes. yes. yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's just near Muskoka um, and they, they love that branding of like the chair, the Muskoka chair yeah. and just chilling and that's kind of the, the vibe behind uh, the pairings as okay. well. You already mentioned where it was earlier, didn't you? And, and I was just more concerned that the place was going to be set on fire because I, <laughs> I sort of missed all that. No worries. Uh, Cass, so obviously, I mean, you've got a lot more work to do here, but does it take a lot more to, to get it to look to, like this plate, the Honestly, final product? Honestly, no, it's so simple. So basically, I've just taken my little, my little dumpling round, wet the edges and put my filling in, give it some little fancy pinches there. You can get a lot fancier if you wanted yeah. to. Uh, and then once those are done, we just kind of sear them off for a while and then you can actually see there's really nice like golden color Amazing. on the bottom there and then they're ready to go. Lovely. Yeah. And uh, Dawn, uh, we've got about 45 seconds left, but tell us about uh, a craft uh, as an event space. Yeah, so craft is, for anyone that's been there before, it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. For me, that's awesome because there's a lot of potential for that space. People have used it for everything from uh, gala dinners to wedding receptions to showers and like seminars. Mm -hmm. It's Networking really events, fun. birthdays, retirement parties. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Craftbeermarket.ca slash Ottawa for more details. Exactly. On everything, including this amazing dinner happening February uh, February 6th. Dawn and Cass, thank you very much thank for being you. here. Thank you. Thank you. Fun. And of course, we've got more fun ahead right here on Daytime Ottawa on Rogers TV.